want to step into their greatness are hungry. You gotta be hungry. You gotta be hungry. What is your legacy? What will your statement be? Resolve every day, read it every day. I refuse to die and unlive life. I like to leave this with you. That mama used to love to hear me say. She said, "Boy, say that thing for me, and I dedicate this to you, to the greatness that's within you, because it's there." It's there, it's there. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for, fight for, to work day and night for, to give up your time, your peace, and sleep for, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it. And lose all your terror of the opposition force. And if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope, and confidence, and stern pertinacity. If neither cold, poverty, famine, or cold, sickness, or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it with the help of God, you'll get it. You have greatness in you. You gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be hungry. You gotta be hungry. that want to step into their greatness are hungry. You gotta be hungry. You gotta be hungry. To give up your time, your peace, and sleep for it. If all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, Strength and sagacity, faith, hope, and confidence, and stern pertinacity. If neither cold, poverty, famine, or cold, sickness, or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. You gotta be hungry. for the rest of your lives, okay? I want you to listen closely. I'm giving you the key to life right now. This is the key to life. The key to life, the key to life is running and reading, all right? Now listen, very serious. The key to life is running and reading, all right? Now, why running? When you're running and you're out there and you're running, there's a little person that talks to you. And that little person says, oh, I'm tired. My lungs are about to pop. Oh, I'm so hurt. I'm so tired. There's no way I could possibly continue. And you want to quit, right? That person, if you learn how to defeat that person when you're running, you will learn how to not quit when things get hard in your life. Running, all right? That's the first key to life. I got this real psychotic thing about, like, you know, perfection and working hard. And, like, real young, I realized that the person that works the hardest wins. And, you know, it's like, you know, while, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. The other guy's eating, I'm working. You know, the other guy's making love. You're well, making I, mean, I mean, I'm making love, but I'm, I'm working <laughs> you're hard at it. Let's make it very clear. You're not making love with that other guy. millions and billions and billions and gazillions of people that have lived before all of us there's no new problem you could have with your parents with school with a bully with anything there's no problem you can have that someone hasn't already solved and wrote about it in a book so the keys to life are running and reading
person that works the hardest wins.